It's been said, mostly in a joke, if we learn from our mistakes, then I must be a genius. I don't totally agree with this statement. I think if we learn from our mistakes, we do get smarter. But I think if you look at the stupid things that other people did and then don't make the same dumb mistakes, that's a genius. So in order for you to all get a little bit smarter, I wish to share with you the dumb thing I did yesterday so that you never have to make my mistake. In Japan, when you buy a lunchbox, a bento, doesn't matter where you are, at a convenience store, at a supermarket, at a little bento restaurant, you are often given waribashi, which is a little pack of disposable chopsticks, often ones that you have to break in half first. That's what the wari means. These ones from Hotomoto, well, they're already separated, so they're a slightly higher quality disposable chopstick, and that's a straw. No, okay. Sometimes they're in plastic covers, sometimes they're in paper covers, that's why I grabbed that one even though it was a straw. Or sometimes you just actually buy them in big packs and take them home and that should have a paper sleeve on it. I don't know where that went. Yeah, someone will use it. Last night I had my hands full and I was trying to get some wadibashi disposable breakable chopsticks out to wrap a paper towel around to use as a handle to clean something out. And I had my hands full and I wanted to open the chopstick pack quickly. So I was holding it in my hand and I jammed it down into my thigh to break it out of the paper. This is a really stupid idea. Don't ever do it. You might get away with it once or twice or maybe even many times, but the thing is there's a toothpick in the pack here. See it right there? That toothpick there? Usually it often nests down beside. And they even show a little warning here. Careful, you might get stabbed. Yeah, I really should have paid attention to that. I jammed my hand down and screamed, scared Kumiko. I just went, ah, bring my hand up. And there is a toothpick sticking out of my finger, out the sideways, perpendicular to the finger. Yeah, so yeah, I screamed. It hurt. <laughs> and it, it hurt a lot. So yeah, I just reached up, grabbed it yanked it out, and it was in deep. Surprisingly, there was only a little bit of blood on the tip, but it went in there, and there is a dot. There's no way the camera's gonna pick it up, but on the other side of my finger, there is a dot where the point made it to. I didn't quite pierce my finger all the way, but I came as close as I'm ever going to, and closer than I ever wanted to. <laughs> I damn near pierced my finger. This is just as ridiculous. It never should have happened. When opening disposable chopstick packs, make sure you know where the toothpick is and don't jam it almost all the way through your finger.